So I think people get into networking because really of one big reason, and they they want to make they want to make more money. Duh, right? Like that's why you why you get a job to make money. So that's there's a big question that begs the question: How much money could you or can you make in networking? Is it good? Can you make good money in networking? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you can. So how, how much can you expect to make as a network engineer? Now, I have to say this, and I know people just hate it when I say this, but it depends. It depends on a lot of factors. It depends on where you live. It depends on how long you've been doing it. Uh, it depends on what certifications you have. And um, it really depends on how well you marketed yourself. But yeah, it's, it's gonna range depending on where you are. And I, I know people hate that answer, but it's just, it's just how it is, right? But I can tell you for me, I'm in a hot market, Dallas. Um, cost of living is pretty good. I mean, it's not like the hottest market, but it's a really good market for IT. Um, I, can, I can vouch for that at least. Uh, how much did I make when I first started out? So when I was a junior network admin, I made about 45,000 a year. And um, I think I was underpaid for what I did. Because I at, at the company I was, I started out on the help desk, I moved up to junior network admin, and then I, uh, I moved up to the primary admin, and at that time, I was making about 50. Um, I learned a lot and took care of a lot of things, and the uh, and they realized that, so they gave me a raise shortly after to 55,000 a year. I was kind of stuck there for a bit. I was working hard, I was killing it, but I wasn't getting a raise. So when it comes to how much a network engineer makes, it's complicated because a network engineer who stays at one place for a long time is gonna make a lot less money than someone who will market themselves really well and is not afraid to change jobs, which is one thing I did. So what I did, it's kind of a funny story, is I, uh, I found another job. I wanted to get more experience in another company. Uh, my current company, just the opportunities weren't there, so I, uh, I got another job offer. And I, and I told my company I was leaving and they made me an offer. They uh, gave me more money to stay, they matched it. So uh, I was making 70K a year. Which is awesome, and for I, I never let me tell you something. I never imagined I would make that much money. I thought maybe like later in my career, like when I was in my 40s, I'd be making that much. But here I was, 25 years old, and I was making 70k a year. Within six months, I was getting kind of antsy again, and I uh, God, it's kind of cold out here. Got cold. I didn't grab my sweater. I was getting kind of antsy again, so I uh, looked for another job. And actually, it was a year later. It was a year later, not six months, and I got another job offer. And this one was for uh, 90K a year. And I brought that to my company and they, they matched me again. So here I was, 26, 27, I forget how old I was. I was making 90,000 a year as a network engineer. And then I moved to another company within a year and I was making 100,000. And that's, that's kind of my progression so far. I won't go into more about what I make now, but uh, that was all within a time span of five to six years. Starting from junior help desk engineer going all the way up to senior network engineer and making $100,000. That's how much you can possibly make if you really hustle and you really work hard and you, and you market yourself correctly. Uh, now, I can't say your experience will be just like mine. What I can say is I've met many others who have had the exact same experience, if not a better experience than what I'm telling you right now. It's completely possible to completely rock it in, in your network engineering career and make a ton of money. Now, like I said, it's gonna vary based on where you are and uh, how much time you're willing to invest. Like, I mean, cause you have, you have to, and I'll, I'll go into more of how you can market yourself and how to um, really get a, a good offer from a company. And, and, but I'll tell you this, engineers who are stagnant, who stay in one place, they don't make as much. Cause a company, they, they have you and they're, they're gonna give you incremental raises every year, if that, based on your performance, but um, the real money comes in when you make a change, when you move to a different company, which is harder on you, right? But it, it, it's totally worth it. I can, I can tell you that from experience. Now, I'm at the point in my career where I could make a lot more if I wanted to, and I've gotten job offers that pay me more, but they're not what I want out of life. It's not the kind of work style I want, my kind of work-life balance. Honestly, I never thought I would have that choice in my life. I, I'm so blessed to be in my position, and you will be too. Network engineering has treated me good, and uh, it, it will you too if you really try hard, get in there and hustle, 
if you contribute to the community, if you give back as much as you're given, uh, you're going to have a good time. Trust me. Uh, so really, how much can a network engineer make? It's up to you. It depends on what you want. It depends on how hard you're going to work. Uh, it depends on really how much you want to make. Because like for me, I'm fine right where I'm at. What I want is more freedom, more work-life balance. Uh, for you, you may just want to get as much money as you can and you'll make it, trust me, if that's your goal. Uh, again, I can't vouch for you and your, your specific uh, situation, but I can vouch for mine and many others I've seen. There is a possibility for a lot of money for you. But anyways, that's my two cents. I hope that's encouraging for you. If you're currently striving towards becoming a network engineer and you're working on your CCNA, you need some kind of like uh, carrot to look at, to chase after, I hope that incentive will tell you what you need to do. Uh, anyways, that's about it. Again, this is part of the 10 days of Network Chuck giving stuff away for free thing. I'm giving away five of uh, David Bomble's Packet Tracer CCNA Labs. Actually, um, hold on a second, Chuck. Five, only five courses? I think we can do a little better than that today. I mean, it's like day seven already. It's time to ramp it up. Christmas is here. So no, we're not doing five today. We're gonna do 10. And not just 10 of the Packet Tracer courses. No, we're gonna bundle this. So, in addition to the Packet Tracer courses, I'll be giving away the ICND1 and ICND2 course from David Bomble. So, that's gonna be there. And you know what, to sweeten the pot a little bit more, I'm gonna throw in the Python for Network Engineers course as well. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good, right? Now we can do better than that. Let's go ahead and throw in the GNS3 course as well. Because like, I mean, you're gonna have to do GNS3 after you're done with your CCNA, right? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So 10 winners today. You're gonna get the uh, Packet Tracer course, the ICND1 and ICND2 CCNA course, the Python course, and the GNS3 course. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so anyways, to enter, there's a link below. Click the link, it'll take you to the contest, and I'm gonna pick the winners today, and I'll announce it tomorrow. Anyways, thanks guys. Back to you, Chuck. I'm just going to finish my wine here. Anyways, that's about it, guys. And I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.